Hello, Washington here, and welcome to. I was about to say welcome back, but no, um, welcome to you for the first time. Muneko, when the seagulls cry. Um, this is for questions arc. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's different from Higurashi when they cry. I know that much. Um, I guess I'll just get started. Uh, yeah, I am using the um. 07th mod, um, like for voice pack stuff. Um, I think that's about all I need to mention. So, let's start with episode one. I should have read that. Uh, I did see something about the difficulty level was low, no need to think too hard about anything, I think it was. So, yeah, there's tips made in the middle of the game, any time right click, uh, open up tips. Character profiles, additional information will be added, as you progress. Okay. And I know that the main character is a uh, battler. The story is very obviously fictional and fantastic in nature. Really? <laughs> yes, and I have heard um, witches play more of a role no, no. compared to um, Higurashi, and so it's much more. Old. Well, I think there is still some of the same. Kind of um, is this for which? It, it, or is for which real? But it's yeah, I think it's more fantastical in nature, and it even says it's fantastical in nature. Anyway, continuing on, there's that person we saw just before painting. The old physician let out a sigh as he removed the stethoscope. Two elderly men could be seen in the dimly lit study which was filled with dust and a sickly sweet stench. Cigars, I'm guessing? Oh, no, since he's just talking about alcohol, probably some kind of alcohol. <laughs> in the corner of this room, which was much larger than what most people would call a study, was an expensive looking bed, a man undergoing a medical examination, and the physician conducting it. There was also what appeared to be a servant watching over the whole scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. As a man wearing a chest for the stethoscope rearranged his clothes, he spoke unapologetically. Kinzo-san, Anta no karada ga ikken chowshi ga ii no wa, kusuri ga kiite ru kara da. Da ga, sonna tsuyoi sake o nomi tsuzukete wa, kusuri no imi mo naku natte shima. <laughs> yeah, also since it's the first episode on a new game, uh, let me know what you think about the audio levels. Genji, only slightly though. <laughs> After eyeing both the master who demanded the alcohol and the family doctor who forbade it, Genji, the old butler, silently gave a silent nod and carried out his master's orders faithfully. The family doctor, Nanjo, let out a deep sigh once again as he watched the butler busy himself alongside the, the liquor cabinet. There was a smell filling up the room. The sweet, poisonous aroma felt as though it melted the heart, if not the soul itself. It was the smell of that venomous green drink that the man couldn't bear to part with. Nanjo. Green. <laughs> But not as quiet as long as my alcohol. <笑><笑>今日まで私を流れさせてくれたことを深く感謝する。私は何も医者としての忠告などは、水蔵さんは全く聞いてくれませんからな。
<笑>お前とて差し間違えた手を待てと言っても聞かぬではないか<笑>ならば愛子というものだろう。何<笑>、exactly. 親方様。すまぬ。薬は切れても死にはせんが、こいつが切れては死んでしまうでな。<笑> Disregarding Nanjo, he had his fate set in a resigned expression. Kinzo took the glass that Genji was holding out for him. Very few people would associate that venomous color with an alcoholic beverage. Nanjo, Shoji, can you hana see? What does she know in what you are to dono te do mots? Sati Dono cry to Moshe Gilba. You he cried the Kurimus Yara. Nanjo once again let out a sigh of resignation. Then he finally spoke to Kinzo, so the latter swirled his glass. Nagakua Arimasena. Dono Tedoni Nagakudaita Yunoda. Kuno chess de Tatoimasho. Kinzo san no tsumemo, Nakanaka desga. Watashi no king o oitsumeru niwa itarimas mai. Nanjo's gaze was directed at a side table with a massive chess set placed on top of it. Okay, so space doesn't um, bring this down. I wonder if there is a way to um, do that. So just uh, wondering, let's see, that's a bishop there. No queen. Um, I mean, uh, black is up to a pawn, a single pawn. Um, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Judging by the positioning of the pieces, the game seemed to be entering its final stage. Not really, we've got two minor pieces and then two other pieces each. Uh, still a fair bit before the proper end game. Black's rook and bishop are cutting deeply into enemy lines. Not for the moment they aren't. Um, hmm. Well, the bishop is. The rook isn't. The rook's blocked by the bishop. This rook's blocked by its own pawn. White's king had already been castled and cornered. Uh, that definitely doesn't look like it's been castled. <laughs> so that even an amateur could see the match would reach its conclusion before too long. Sure. Uh, every time Nanjo came to give a medical examination, both of them would make a few moves. Nanjo was hinting that Kinzo would most likely fall into his eternal sleep before this game could be concluded. These were less the words of a physician than they were the words of an old friend. その患者にならユイゴンを書くよう進めるころです。ユイゴンとは何だ何時を私の屍をどのように食い散らかせと剥げたかどもに指南する書き置きなのか。That's <笑> <笑><笑> イサンブンパイのことだけを書くものじゃない。ほう。イサンブンパイ以外に書くこととは何なのか。心残りや。やり残し。受け継いでほしいことや。伝えたいこと。
この後ろ宮金蔵後に残したいことも伝えたいこともただの一つもないわうん裸一貫で生まれたそして裸一貫で死ぬバカ息子どもに残したいものなど何一つないわ<笑>ああてやもしも訪れる最後が今日だとしても今だとしてもうん。ん feel like I should take the uh voices down タキは我が友だ That. Do we have anything? Okay, I don't think we have anything. No tips. I don't think we have anything. 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 それらは私と共に築き上げられ、私と共に失われよう。後に残してやるものなど何もないわ何もないあとは野となれ山となれ<笑>墓も質疑も何も望まぬわそれが魔女と私の契約だうん。私が死ぬ時に全てを失う初めからその約束だからこそ何も残らぬのだ何も残せぬのだ After reaching a furious crescendo, Kinzo suddenly slumped over. His expression was limp and feeble, as though an evil spirit had possessed him and then left. <sighs> だが、未練はある。残すものは何一つないが、残したまま行けぬものが一つだけある。それを書き記せばいい。もちろん、生きているうちにこなせればそれでいい。だが、万一の時、残されたものがそれを引き継いでくれる。自分に万一があっても必ずその心残りが解決できるように残していくそれが遺言というものです When Nanjo tried to gently pat Kinzo's shoulder the dying man flew into a sudden rage and battered away in Nanjo's hand ダメだダメだダメだ私が生きているうちでなくてはならぬ。私は死ねば、魂はすぐに契約の悪魔に食らわれて消え去ってしまう。死後の世界も安らぎも私にはないのだ。だから全ては、私が生きているうちでなければならぬ。だから遺言状など私には必要ない。そのようなものを書く暇があったなら。あったなら。You'd rather spend the time working towards completing it, maybe? 私は見たい。See what? もう一度見たい。ベアトリーチェの微笑む顔がもう一度見たい。やは。はあ、ベアトリーチェ。なぜに私をこれほどまでに拒むのか。今こそお前に与えられた全てを返そう全てを失おうだから最後にもう一度だけお前の美少を見せてくれベアトリーチ頼むご承諾聞こえているはずだお前はそういう女だ頼む姿を見せてくれいるんだろう聞こえていながら姿を消し今もこの部屋のどこかで私をあざ笑っているのだろう私の前にもう一度現れてくれそして微笑んでくれ
なじってくれてもいい望むならお前の手で私の命を奪ってくれてもいいこのまま一人で死にたくないお前の微笑みを再び一目見るまでは絶対に死ねないのだああベアトリーチベアトリーチこの命はくれてやるお前にくれてやる五章だベアトリーチあ、was loud。あ、my ears。The first day, <laughs> immediately what pops into my mind was、um, Majora's Mask.、Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just saw the name change for You can probably go back and see, but I don't think I'll be able to. I can look at the video. Oh well, continuing on. I couldn't help but scratch my head and marvel at how far things had come in recent years. We used to go by boat. Back then, we were all forced to endure nearly half a day of swaying back and forth over the sea before we reached Nijima. Things have gotten so much more convenient these days. Still, I've never been on a plane this small. I've flown in a huge c h u m p e r jet before, but this will be my first experience in such a tiny one. It's going to shake, isn't it? Yep. They say smaller boats shake more than big ones, so I guess the same rule probably applies to planes. Ah, just spare me. Ha 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 I'm guessing maybe he didn't realize what he said earlier was out loud. He totally said it out loud, didn't he? Go, men, go, men. もう小さい頃とは違うよね。あれから6年も経ってるんだし。うん、もうバトラ君も子供じゃないか。<笑>じゃあ、兄貴はタバコも酒もオーケーってかよ。タバコは興味ねえけど、酒は飲んでみたいよな。<笑>兄貴なんか、おじさんの遺伝子あんなら相当飲めちゃいそうだけど。
僕の場合は好きで飲むというよりは仕事で飲む方が多いからね日本のビジネスは酒抜きでは難しいよ<笑>そうっすよねだから俺も今晩の夕食あたりに初挑戦してみようかなーってあーはだダメだよバトラ君はまだ未成年じゃないか<笑>未成年の飲酒は発育に悪影響を及ぼす可能性がってうんこんだけタッパがありゃ俺の発育は十分っすから<笑>むしろちょいと身長縮めた方が服が探しやすいくらい I puffed my chest out proudly till I hit my growth spurt my height was below average in my class But then I grew and grew, and before I knew it, I passed 180 centimeters. 5 foot 11. I guess I have all that muscle training and those shitty meal for the forms and lines and drugs to thank for that. Oh, <laughs> Before then, I never dreamed that I'd shoot 10 centimeters above George a n a k i He'd reached his peak height early on. Damn. I'll bet what my relatives all say. Look how big you've grown, b a t t l e r c h a n or something. It's all so embarrassing. I wish they'd just give me a break. Anyway, my name, b a t t l e r It's pretty damn weird, don't you think?、Uh, it, um, huh. So they actually realize that it's weird and not just. Okay. <laughs> Gotta wonder what my parents are thinking when they name me that. I've never met anyone who could read it right the first time. I usually get called Sentokun. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not even close. My name is written. Sure.、Uh, <laughs> can you read it? No. <laughs>、um, the first part is my family name, Rushimiya. Okay, Rushimiya. It's those three characters and then Battle of for the last two, I'm guessing. It's a fairly plausible Japanese pronunciation so far. The problem is my given name. Is made up of a characters for fight and person, and it's pronounced Battler. Put it all together, and you've got Rishimiya Battler. Pretty crazy, right? It's crazy enough that my parents decided to call me that, but it's even more crazy that some government worker let them make it official. <laughs> uh, yeah, so because、um, the Japanese、um, kanji system isn't phonetic, um, well, For simplicity's sake, I'll call it alphabet.、Um, but yeah, because it isn't phonetic, you can have.、Uh, so it's. Especially in the past couple of decades, I think it was.、Um, it became more popular. That.、Um, hmm, how do I say this? Basically, the way it's written doesn't have to be how it's commonly said.、Uh, so. Especially, as I was saying,、um, in more recent decades,、uh, it's been a kind of thing to、uh, basically pick the.、Um, I think it's pick for pronunciation and then、um, pick some、uh, word that they like the meaning of.、Um, or it might have been the other way around. But in any case, it results in.、Um, You can get some unusual pronunciations for the same kind of written name, or multiple names written differently but pronounced the same way.、Um, so I think I heard one example being like it could be written out as one, two, three as a name, but then pronounced as do, re, mi, like the musical notes. In any case,、um, brief Japanese lesson over, continuing on. <laughs> Both groups are at the top of my must kill list. Anyway, this is one of my cousins. His name is Shamir George. He's five years older than me, so he must be turning 23 this year. Well, I have to say, yes, George is such a、um, stereotypical Japanese name as well, yes. <laughs> um. Since the Urishimiya cousins consist of two boys and two girls, I ended up playing with George all the time. Because I've always thought of him as a big brother, I still call him Anarchy today. 
しかしバトラ君は大きゅうなったな<笑> As you were just saying 男子三日をあざれば滑目して松部氏とはよう言うたもんややっぱり近しらねルドルフも高校くらいまでは身長そんなになかったのよ成長期が遅い方が最終的には伸びるのかもね I was just say, her voice just immediately reminds me of Takano. <laughs> And now that I've thought that, um, Battler kind of reminds me of. Was it Tomotake or Akasaka? I feel like it sounds like Akasaka. I might、uh, look into voice actors later. Um. In case. So, yeah. Batrakun wa wakatu. Utoku wa nakami de shomunaya. Sineni onore no tanden wa wasere taraka. So, ste, kosh tan tanto, chance o matte, dokanto kaika saserunya. Washimo masaka konnichi. This stout, plump old guy is George Aniki's dad, Uncle Hideyoshi. He's the husband of dad's older sister. In other words, we're not blood related. He's nice to children. Sociable all the time, and even quick to give out some spending money to us kids. Simply put, he's an awesome uncle. <laughs> he speaks in an odd and very noticeable Kansai dialect, but he's actually a natural born Canton man. Apparently, impressions are everything in the business world. So, speaking in a different style than other people is an act that makes him stick out more. However, I hear he gets embarrassed when talking with a near shot of real Kansai person, so he switches back to standard Japanese. I don't really get it, but he's definitely an interesting person. でもいいじゃないですか語れる武勇伝があるってのは男としてかっこいいことだと思いますよ<笑>俺なんか語るような話は何もないっすからねあらそうバトラ君なんかそのルックスでいっぱい女の子を泣かせてそうだからさぞかし武勇伝が多そうだと思ったんだけど。I can't believe you have nothing at all to brag about. あ、だだだだ。え、じゃ、じゃ。情報団じゃないっすよ。そんな妙な武勇伝あるわけないじゃない。むしろ紹介してほしいくらいっす。あら、あるんでしょ、武勇伝。おばさんにも後で教えてね
まああの人のお手洗いが長いのは今に始まったことじゃないしねああアンニャロは昔からそうです雑誌持ってトイレに入るのやめてほしいんすよね<笑>何の雑誌持ち込んで何をしてんだか<笑><笑>ほらそんな心配は全然不要よ私と一緒にいる以上そんなこと一人でさせやしないもの<笑>なんの話か後でじっくり聞きたいっすねうんや親父め玉まで握られてグロネも出ないわけだ握っとかないとどういうことになるかよーく分かってるでしょいやいや全くあのクソ親父の手綱はキリエさんにしか無理っすよ<笑>実の息子の俺も喜んで譲っちゃいますわ<笑>ええ任せてちょうだい I think on that note I will be ending it here for today I hope you all enjoyed let me know any feedback you have in the comments um yep first part of Mineko when the seagulls cry until next time I hope you enjoyed see ya